Hey you guys, it's Voluptuously Skinny and I'm here with another update on getting rid of my regain. Uh, let me start with a quick introduction for those of you who are just joining us. I was 370 pounds when I began this uh, journey, weight loss journey, and I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on September 16th of 2015. At that time, I was about 329 pounds and I ended up losing a total of 225 pounds altogether and I ended up maintaining between 155 and 165 for about five years. Between 2020 and 2022, I ended up regaining 110 pounds all the way up to 265 pounds. And so just this past January of 2023, I decided enough was enough. I joined a Couch to 5K program, went back to the bariatric basics, and then started eating less and I have lost this regain, the majority of it now. And so now I am 188 pounds. I am five pounds down just from last week. And I've lost a total of 77 pounds of this regain. And I'm just short of between 23 and 34 pounds to get back within my 155 to 165 pound range. And that brings me to a total of 182 pounds gone from the, my highest of 370 pounds. So I think that is uh, definitely wonderful. So when you guys are looking at getting rid of this regain, when you are looking for motivation, always look at where you were from the beginning and know that even though you've regained some, you haven't regained it all. OK, so don't feel like you have to um, don't 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 think of it as don't be totally devastated because you haven't regained it all. OK, um, even if you've regained it, regained it all, you still have your tool and you still have that tool so that you can work with. OK, so let's see. Last video, I talked about how I ate and. Um, I talked about also the bariatric basics. I looked at the stats on my YouTube and it looked like everybody was watching about 10 minutes of that video. It was rather long. And so I wanted to go back and I wanted to touch on some of the basics as far as not on the bariatric basics because it looks like everybody got through that. But I wanted to touch on just a few things about how I ate and then uh, go on to um, how I exercised. Okay, so how I ate. Um, I wanted to reiterate that I ate less initially, um, but I did not initially, I ate less, but initially I did not eat better. Okay. Um, so I wanted to invite you to my fitness pal to become my friend because that is where you will see my diary. That is going to be the very best place for you to go in and be able to view exactly what I ate and um view my public diary okay if you friend me at voluptuously skinny it's the same as my channel name is my channel on there i will complete my diary daily if you go to the news feed you'll see on there voluptuously skinny has completed her diary she is under her calorie count or she is over her calorie count or whatever it it says i don't even think it says over over the calorie count it'll just say but Love Juicy Skinny has completed her diary count. She is under her calorie count, or it'll say she has just completed her 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 uh, calorie count for the day. And it'll have an, uh, a link there to view diary. You can click on that link and it'll bring up the day's calorie, uh, the day's diary. When you, um, when you go to that day, you can scroll through the days all the way through as as many as you want to go through if you go all the way back to january 7th that's when i was began to faithfully record every single morsel that was going into my mouth i'm not gonna say every single morsel but that is the greater majority morsel so um and I say every single morsel because like if there was like a 
piece of gum, I would, wasn't recording that. If I had two peanuts, sometimes I didn't record that. But for the majority of it, I recorded everything that was going into my mouth. So you will be able to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of everything that was going, um, that I was consuming. So that is on my fitness pal. Go in and um, friend me and you can view my diary. I also wanted to reiterate when I talked about hunger. Yes, I do get hungry, especially if I have skipped a meal or if I am in between, uh, I have a long period of time in between meals. I still get hungry, but I, I still don't get as hungry as I did before my surgery. I don't get that same um, scale of non-hunger that I get, that I had when I had surgery the first time where you would forget to eat. I don't get that type of hunger some for the most part um, or non-hunger for the most part, but I don't get ravenously hungry at all. Um, so that I did want to clarify. Also, I don't believe my stomach is, I went to a seminar and the, the lady um, over nutrition and the uh, nutritionist there talked about our stomach stretching and she talks about the sensitivity of our stomach stretching. And she said that once we eat a lot, our stomach becomes sensitive to that stretching and wants to stretch more. But once we start eating less, that our stomach becomes less sensitive to that stretching. And so that's what I believe that happens to our stomach. So once you start eating less, your stomach will become less sensitive to that stretching and less will fill you up. Um, the HelloFresh meals, I said that they last me two meals. Sometimes they do not last me two meals. Sometimes they only last me one meal. And what I do is I don't, um, I just eat less than what the serving does, the serving says, and then Corey eats the rest of it because sometimes they're too high in calories for me to eat the full serving. And, um, my alarms, I set an alarm for 10, 1, 4, 7, and 9. And that is for breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and another snack. The nine o'clock is so I won't be deprived. And I usually, that nine o'clock, it is so late, but I usually make sure that it's a snack that just doesn't cause me acid reflux, but I just did not want to feel deprived. And so that's why I set that nine o'clock snack. Um, and it has helped me. And I'm getting off the regain, okay? So exercise, exercise, I started with the couch to 5k program and it's because I wanted to run, but the majority of that couch to 5k program for the first several weeks, it, it was all it was, was a lot of walking. It was a lot of walking, very little running. So if running is not your thing, don't worry about it. Just get out and walk. Um, that's all you need to do is just walk. I still walk a lot. I walk a whole lot. I run four days a week, but I still, even, even after I run, I still walk. So that is the exercise that I'm doing. It's no magic pill to it. Um, I don't run like I used to run back in the day. I was running marathons. I was running ultra marathons. I was running miles and miles and miles a day. I was running a hundred miles a week. I'm not doing that anymore. I may get out and run three miles a day, um, four times a week. And um, maybe sometimes on a Saturday, I'll get out and run maybe five to seven miles. But that's about it. For the most part, I am doing a lot of walking. So that is, it's no trick to it. It's nothing, nothing new. I'm starting to... Um, I'm just now about to start some strength training, some resistance training, uh, with Corey. So that's going to be something new that I'm adding on to, um, so that I can build up, um, more of my physique. I want to build up 
my muscle and just the way my my body looks i want to build that that look back up so but three days a week is what i started with with walking and then and i did that for about four weeks and then with my apple watch i decided that i wanted to close all my rings every single day so every single day since february of 2023 i have closed every single ring on my apple watch so my stand ring my move ring and my exercise ring and that is what has helped me with staying active um so no trick to it but now every day i'm active every single day so mondays tuesdays thursdays and saturdays i'm running and then on wednesday friday and sunday i walk and that is it so if you guys have any other questions i will be back next week to answer them and um we'll see how that goes okay so i'm still praying for you guys to get your regain off as well and i'm continuing to pray for myself so you guys continue to pray for me as well and i will see you guys soon peace out babies Mwah.